Hey there everyone, uh, going to put together a very quick video um, just highlighting some of the changes and fixes for build 3.1.4. Um, the video is necessary, um, so let's get right into it. Um, let's see, uh, when I was, um, testing the theme creator, just to see if I could actually execute this on, uh, Asus, uh, ROG Ally device, um, when I hit edit view, it actually crashed. <laughs> so, um. There were a couple of things there that I wasn't checking for, and um, anyway, that's now fixed. So if you're that way inclined to see if the theme creator would actually run on a handheld Windows device like a GPD or an ASUS uh, ROG Ally, then uh, you won't have any issues with it using 3.14. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, if I go into edit view, <clears throat> disable audio. Um, did I actually want to be in this view? I don't know. I think so. doesn't really matter but if um and i'll cover all this stuff in a minute but um the color picker was not functioning correctly um when the editor is in windowed mode as you can see i'm in windowed mode for the editor um it wasn't detecting the uh the colors at the correct location so now it's working just fine all right both in windowed mode and uh, full screen. Now if I pick a different theme. And unfortunately, you're going to have to take my word for it on this one. But on the um, battery indicator, or where you're retrieving the, uh, the battery status, um, charging percent, and whether or not it's plugged in, or charging, or not charging, whatnot, um, the number of bars, let's see, the... So based on the number of bars, the percentages were not being, um, they weren't correct. Um, they weren't 100% correct. There was some overlap in some of these percentages. So um, they weren't matching up or marrying up with the uh, descriptive text here in the properties panel. So that's been corrected. Um, and I've also put another uh, enhancement into the DLL. <clears throat> Uh, the community uh, theme creator library DLL, um, but that's not accessible uh, within this particular build. I'll wait for 3.2 on that one. It's it's a it's a little thing. Anywho, um, that DLL's been uh, updated, one enhancement, and uh, obviously a fix to to support this. All right, all right. Those are the fixes. Let's get into the changes. Um, I'm trying to remember where I had uh, a test theme now. A few minutes later. Test. Let's see if this is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's see what we've got going on. Um, I'm going to activate the uh, animations so 
<clears throat> in short, we have this uh, rectangle element. And if I scroll down through the properties panel, let me just make the panel bigger. I've moved some properties around. Okay. Um, in a more kind of logical sequence. So gone are the foreground and background um, uh, tabs, if you will, or containers. That's gone. That's all in here now. And as you can see, um, border thickness has been added to rectangle. And same is true with ellipse. And then over here on frame, we've always had border thickness because um, you can be very specific on which side you wish to uh, alter. But the border colors and background color um, are all within one area. Okay, so it's under appearance, which logically makes sense. All right. But as you can see, you can individually um, animate the various colors now. So for the example of rectangle and ellipse, I'm animating the fill color uh, from gray to blue and then back again. Whereas on the uh, border, I'm animating the border, uh, border color from white all the way up to yellow and then back again. And the same is true on a frame. You can animate the color of the border and the background. All right. So um, I thought this was going to be a quick change. Uh, it's not, or it wasn't. Um, there, <laughs> there was an awful lot uh, to it. And that's why it's taken me a while to, to get 3.1.4 um, to where it is right now. But... Um, uh, Let's see, as you can see, animation, you can animate background color, border color. It's very specific now, as opposed to what it used to be, which was just color. Um, and what does that mean for existing themes? It doesn't mean anything. I've, uh, I've built a conversion routine into um, the opening of a project. It detects the version and will upgrade that file um, accordingly or upgrade your project accordingly. So it will remap um, color properties from uh, rectangle, ellipse, uh, frame, exam you know, for, for example, and it will upgrade those and dump them into the, the, the new properties that I've added for these um, particular UI elements, all right? So you don't have to worry about that. Um, it will just auto-convert. Um, let's see. And I believe that's it. Um, I, I wish there was more to show you. There just, there just isn't. This took up a, a great deal of my time. Um, just following through on adding these properties and then being able to animate them um, just so that you've got full control. But um, like I said, I just wanted to uh, put a quick video together just to demonstrate um, some of the changes that I've, I've implemented for 3.1.4. So if you're scurrying around, um, trying to to, to see what's what's happened to some of the properties. They're not where you're used to seeing them. Um, I've dumped them into uh, the appearance uh, category area, all right, which is probably where you would have been looking for them in the first place. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and, uh, you know, enjoy some of the, the new additions like the animations um, uh, and, and obviously some of the fixes that you are relying on, like color picker, etc. All right. So take care and uh, I'll put out a new video um, uh, fairly shortly uh, to highlight some of the um, uh, enhancements that I, I wish to implement for version 3.2. All right. So until then, take care, everyone.